15 Chinese, Fanny Coyote asked federal government seven powerful questions. As uncertainty regarding the 15 Chinese experts brought into the country by the federal government continues, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Mr. Femi Fanny Coyote, has sent seven powerful questions to the Nigerian government. Recall on April 8, 2020, 15 Chinese had arrived in Nigeria via the Namdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja. The Chinese experts were quarantined for 14 days and thereafter, their whereabouts and activities have largely remained unknown. But Femi Fanikayode has asked the Nigerian government seven questions, which, if answered, will unravel the whereabouts and activities of the Chinese. Taken to his Twitter on Saturday evening, the former Minister of Aviation asked where are the 14 Chinese doctors, what is their mission, who invited them. He further asked, is it true that they are spreading and infecting our people with COVID-19? Is it true that they are texting new vaccine on us? Are we guinea pigs? Why did the Ministry of Health tell us to stop asking questions about the Chinese? Yeah, that is it. That is Nigeria for you. A lot of answers uh, that sounds like questions have been given to this. Like once somebody said, in this country, Nigeria, we have leaders that are supposed to fight for the benefit of every individual in this country. They are there to you know, make sure there is peace and unity in the country. But yet, these people are not doing what they are expected to do. And someone has asked this question. Is it that they are benefiting from all the bad things that have been happening in the country? Or they are cowards. That is why they have not been able to speak even till date. Nobody is trying to say anything about what has been going on in the country. Either good or bad, they all kept mute. To the extent be, people are beginning to you know, say that Nigerian government are full of deceit in the sense that most of them know what is going on but because of what they are gaining from it that is why a lot of them have kept quiet they don't even want to know say anything to the wrong doings of some of our leaders which is very very wrong how long can we continue like this that is another question some are also even of the opinion that PDP is the problem of the rascality of APC. That PDP is not a good ruling opposition to the APC. Meaning all the trauma that APC had been given to Nigerians that PDP know about it. Hmm. There's nothing we know here in this country. Meanwhile, one thing for sure is that whatsoever their mission is in Nigeria, in this country, on you no know, innocent citizens of this country, it will surely and definitely backfire. Thank God now we have a lot of wise people in Africa, a lot of wise people in Nigeria, because there's been an agitation against the texting of vaccine in Africa itself. If that is their aim of coming to Nigeria, that they want to text their vaccine on us, it will not even, in fact, for that they should just erase it because that will not, that will not even work out at all. Because a lot of people are wise to the extent that they have been saying it that Nigeria, Africa as a whole, 
is not a laboratory it's not a texting ground for them if they want to text they should test themselves and someone was even of the opinion that these so-called chinese before they were no before they could say they were coming to nigeria they must have been invited by some of our leaders and anyhow they want to do it they can't just say forcefully they want to text the so-called vaccine on nigeria somebody must have no agreed accepted to the attempts that okay fine you people should come around and do the texting either good or bad what people are saying is that no wala no big deal if you know you really want the people to do the texting they should start from the head of your children they start with texting your children after they must have texted your children they go to your wives and your relatives then after like about two months let's see the performances on their body the nigerians will now know if they will surrender themselves for texting or not so that is just it it's very it's as simple as that you can't eat your cake and have it anyhow you want it to go nigerians are solidly watching they are not behind but they are watching let's see how it wants to go and <laughs> that is it it's very simple as that so and let's see if you people will still have that mind to ask them to continue since they're going to start from you no Allah, we are watching i want to see the outcome and it must be the real test it must be the real test i mean the real test to the extent nigerians are lamenting that they are tired of praying for this country we have prayed prayed again and again yet they are still adamant it's what they have in their minds that they still want to do in fact in case you don't know most of the comments that each of you comment online they see they read everything yet it's what they have in their minds that they still want to do they don't care and you no know, most of them when they are in that position of authority they believe there is no god in fact they see every other nigerian as nobody you can imagine in fact it was rumored that the emergence of these chinese people chinese doctors in nigeria was all because of the people in asorok that they were you no know, invited specially for the government so that they can you know so that they could take care of them especially in terms of COVID-19 case. Some even said they were flown in because of Abakari. That was when Abakari was still alive, so that they would be able to take care of him specially. But we now later noticed that after the death of Abakari, they had to you know, return to where they came from. So we don't even know if they are still somewhere, you no, know, in Nigeria hiding themselves or they are, you no, know, they have gone back to where they came from. So a lot of agitations, a lot of you no know, rumor that we've heard about them. But one thing for sure is, no matter what, even if they have hidden agenda, if they had, you no, know, a negative plans against Nigerians it will never work because nigeria is a god's own country and no matter what nemesis must surely catch up with anyone that is planning evil against us so a lot of people have been saying hmm, this so-called prayer prayer prayers that you people have been praying nothing is working let me tell you something prayer is working if not for prayer my brother it would have been worse than this so you just check it. A lot of things have happened that a lot of people don't even believe that. Even they themselves never believed that it would happen the way it happened. That is it. Because God is involved and God is still doing his things. God is just watching them. So any of them that you know, can have a rethink and you know, have a fear of God in his or her heart will know that he needs to be careful. The good Lord will continue to help us and 
the country will be in safer hands in no time no matter what no matter how much they plan evil god is bigger than them and that is my take well let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless